Rolls, well done. A win to win, mate. What was the wash up from Saturday? Yeah, yeah, no, it was good to, I think Nixie said in the press, sorry, it was good to have play four quarters. Um, you know, they've been bringing it around the ball pretty well and I thought the way we, we played it out and we, we executed in front of goal, which was nice as well, um, and, and to win by that margin was pleasing. Are you starting to see the best of Fog? Yeah, Fog, I think his last month's probably been the best or since I've been here for sure. Um, and it's credit to him, he hasn't really changed anything, it's just all click for him. Um, he's working really hard off the ball and, and when he's in vision he's looking pretty strong. So, so brother, sorry, back to Fog, you say he hasn't changed much. What did he do in the sample then that led him to be able to perform at a level like this? Oh, well, the biggest focus was just going going at the footy. He, he had a little bit of a habit of getting back to the, the body and he's probably playing a little bit too unselfish, holding out for, for his teammates. And, and um, yeah, he's just going at the footy a lot, lot more. His, his work before the ball comes in is, is improved out of sight and he's, yeah, he's just uh, hard to play on. So what does this do for him confidence-wise? 50 games, his best game of his career easily. Well, that, that's probably the other thing. With the on-field stuff, yeah, it's great, but off-field and, and his, um, how confident he is in, ha in his game and how he's playing is, is probably the key to it all. How big is it for you that he doesn't, I guess, do that wrestling, you know, before the, the ball comes in that he kind of has been doing in the past? Yeah, well, he's just, he's just been on, on the move. Uh, and I think it's credit to his fitness too. He's worked a lot, very hard on his aerobic ability, which has allowed him to use his power more often, if that makes sense. And, and um, yeah, and then get that separation on his opponent and see him launch the ball, which we saw um, yesterday. How's Shane? Um, yeah, yeah Shane, Shane's uh, rolled his ankle. Um, from all reports, it's in a good spot, but he'll, he'll get a scan and, you know, six days, he'll struggle to train, I reckon, so it might be tough for him. How much concern is there for Will Hamill at the moment after another concussion, and how's he doing? Yeah, he had, he's had a few, um, so I've heard. So, yeah, he seems to be doing OK. Um, he, I think after about an hour, he felt felt not too bad. So, look, um, obviously he'll go through the, um, the protocols and, yeah, we'll see what happens. With the history, do you imagine you'll take a bit more of a cautious approach in, in getting him back? Possibly, yeah, possibly. But, yeah, we'll leave that up to the docs, yeah. Uh, disappointing. It, it seems to happen when he gets a good run of games and it's happened the last couple of times when he's been in good form. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's definitely given us a fair bit of drive off half back and he's a pretty important player for us. So, yeah, it is a little bit disappointing, but hopefully he can get back and, and play that footy again. Crouchy do enough? Um, yeah, possibly. He played a good game. He seems to play that level really well. Um, but yeah, that mix in the midfield was pretty strong. Um, that mix on the outside as well and getting the forward. Um, we scored really well from stoppages. So um, I think Crouch is still a very important part of um, what we are. But um, yeah, we'll have those chats later in the week. You sound overly convincing there, Ross. Yeah. No, no, I think... Uh, what, I th what more can he do? I mean, Matt's always going to grab plenty of ball and a lot of them are going to be handballs, it's sort of what he's done. For yeah, him. yeah, and on the on his game he actually kicked the ball inside 50 and kicked a goal as well, so I think he is doing what we're asking, so um, yeah, th th definitely a chance. When you look at um, the week out, I mean, is there any more of a seesaw than going from North Melbourne and Hobart to Melbourne and LA um, Yeah, I, th I think I suppose um, if you look at last year and I think this year as well, it, it's times hasn't really been the opposition, it's been more about us and if we can bring our game and um, yeah, we're, we're pretty confident where we're at. We weren't happy with how we played against the Gold Coast but still had a lot of parts of our game we were quite happy with. So again, if we can put a four quarter performance, we'll, we'll, we'll be up there, we'll, we'll be thereabouts. Obviously, um, Tex and Fog were very good yesterday. How are you finding the small forward mix at the moment? Yeah, probably been in a, a little bit and that hasn't, that's been uh, partly through injury and, and other things, but Rory was pretty dangerous on the weekend. He's using the ball and he's actually finding a lot of ball for a small forward, which is which is pleasing. And he's working on his pressure game and his tackles. Um, but he, he kicked a couple uh, yes, yesterday. Um, Ned's been there, but Ned's also played a lot of, lot on the wing, wing time. Um, and Josh had a, a Kane Turner, their number one tagger, um, which Josh has got to get used to. Um, went to him. So last year, I think. Kane went to Lady and then and Cedo the, the next game. So then they've um, as soon as Josh came on the ground, he went straight to him. So um, shows the respect other teams have for Josh, and it's something he's got to got to work through. Is that a little bit of a surprise, though. You know, he's a, no, first year drafting. He's already getting oh, well, going to <laughs> game the North. Would hopefully they would be kind of looking at thinking we might be able to you know win this. Possibly, yeah, possibly. But, um, yeah, I think we can't understate how well Josh played. I think he was probably our best player in the first few rounds. Um, and then he got a little bit sore and got a bit banged up and, and um, had a couple of weeks off and 
now he's come back and, and got to work through through that. So, um, yeah, it's a great experience for him. Were there any parts of yesterday, Riles, that you thought you maybe just didn't nail or thought you might have? Um, look, it, it wasn't bad conditions, but the conditions that you're out in the elements, so we would have liked to probably at times move the ball a little bit, but we thought we were OK with, you know, kicking to our targets. Tex was in pretty good shape, and Rob's such an important player when he's clunking the ball. So we, we, we took those contests and thought it, thought it helped us win the game and, and probably help, helped us uh, with our defence as well. Yeah, I'm a big fan of um, Junior. I think the way he uses the ball, we've just got to get it in his hands as much as possible because he has that composure and that class that we need and the forwards just love leading to him. Yeah, with, with Shano, obviously you just mentioned that he's probably unlikely to get up for the game. Yep. Is that open the door again for Riley Fields to come in? Uh, yeah, yep, Riley's, I think he'll only be... a only be the week, but we'll see how his ankle pulled up. So there's a chance Riley will, will come back in. Um, we had uh, Muzz in the ruck for a little bit, so I think we'll probably look at get coming, uh, getting that ruck from forward this week. But yeah, we'll have a discussion later in the week. I was just going to ask about Muzz in the ruck. Is that something you kind of looked at maybe for a little while? Or was it just necessity? Well, we didn't mind it. Like Muzz, Muzz is his attack on the ball, and he jumped, he jumps really well. He's really athletic, and then he gets after it. So. Yeah, I actually didn't mind it. We, we didn't mind putting him in there. So um, it was interesting and, yeah, it's something we might look to in the future. I've seen other teams do that. I know Ford's done it a little bit, but can you afford a, a makeshift Ruckman against the game's better Ruckman, do you, do you think? Um, not for too long. The beauty with Rolby does play pretty much 98% of the game, so it's not for too long. But, yeah, if we do have a makeshift Ruckman in, there's a few things we have to do around stoppages just to make sure that doesn't happen. But um, I do like the change-up of the athleticism. And when Riley goes in there, you know, his aerobic ability and gramble ability is, is something different. So I like it, yeah. Did you beat Melbourne last year? Oh, yeah, I think so. Look, what we did really well against Melbourne last time is, is um, not let their defence get set. So hopefully we can do that again because we move the ball and give our forwards a chance. I think we can be pretty dangerous. So, but they were pretty impressive, weren't they? Especially around the footy and Brisbane are a pretty class side as well. So it was good to watch on Friday night. When you say move the ball, what, is, what are some of the keys to not letting the defence set? What are some of the keys? To well, just our ability to shift it and shift it quickly and um, take our medicine at the right times as well and, and back in our bigs ahead of the ball. But um, yeah, they're very good when their defence gets set. Um, probably the best defensive team in the comp. Well, he's doing everything we ask. He's definitely improving his game. You think from last year to this year, um, had a, he had kicked four goals three. I haven't seen the game, but um, yeah, he's improving and he's doing all we ask. So yeah, he'll be in discussions, I suppose. Cool. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Ross. Thanks, Ross.